Okay, so this is my guide for this is part two of the guide to get the Soul of the Ward skin. Um, for this one, it is the mage one. Uh, I played all three. Ari seems to be the best one for it. Um, so I picked Ari. I believe this one also showcases uh, the A that you need. Because after you do the three, the support, AD carry, mage, then you have to get an A in the in the game type to be able to get the last couple points but anyway um so this will showcase my gameplay hopefully get some tips in for different waves and this also showcase the build that i came up with it's a little weird so this is what we're going for uh so it's an it's that big map from before uh it is the uh the one with the velkazes on the chogats so we got it early so that kind of sucks because it's so easy I think I missed. Usually, uh, you'll usually buy uh, Amptome because you basically rush. Uh, uh, what's it called? Necro uh, Morella Namicon because it gives uh, all these champ. All the minions are champions except for the like the little voidlings. So you actually don't run out of mana after you get it. It's a good recommended item. Ended up trying out. Seems to work best. So I have the Chogoth on me, so I'm just kiting the little um, Kha'Zix are kind of annoying. Just trying to. Kite out best I can. Teams DPSing the Chogoth. Should be pretty easy. Somebody's on the top clearing the Vel causes. So early, you can, like I said in the other guide, or in the other one, you can split up early. But later on, you do not want to split up because it'll turn into a huge problem. So I'll kill the stuff. I'm just kiting out the, the Kha'Zixes and my team's burning the Chogoth down. I'm not going to do one for Poppy, but uh, if you do player, I believe Courage and um, what's the other thing called? The uh, uh, Courage or the one that heals your team. I had Grasp kind of sucks from what I've seen. So, finish up uh, Morel and Opcon. You can buy the uh, Amptome. I didn't buy it. It was a mistake. I wasn't paying attention. I just channeled because I wanted to get the game started. So... You can also buy another Amptome here. The next item that you're going to get is pretty, pretty weird. I don't think a lot of people get it, so hopefully it'll showcase what it is. It's pretty uh, unique, I think. So this one's the circular one where the minions spawn on the outside in the fog. So this one's pretty easy. Even on the earlier ones, basically, it's just a bunch of Kha'Zixes that jump in. It's always it's kind of a waste to try and chase them when they, after they... Because the Kha'Zix attack pattern is that they'll run towards somebody, auto attack them, jump over them, and then stealth. Then they'll come back, juke, or shoot the little um, void spike, and then juke back into the fog. So don't waste it on the second part. Just wait for them to come back from stealth. Good chance you'll miss your skill shots because they tend they tend to do the the juke pretty well. It's pretty easy. I think after you clear the wave, you can see the next phase because a health relic will spawn. So you want to save that unless you're all low because then a shit ton of things come out. So you want to burn the health relic mid-fight. That'll give you guys the best uh, the best opportunity. It's pretty simple. You want to land all your skill shots, try and get max damage out. Oh, if you're playing Ari, um, don't get uh, Thunderlord. Thunderlord sucks. This it's not. There's no trading. It's uh, it's basically a whole damage thing. So get uh, uh, Deathfire. You want Deathfire against this team or against this in this mode? Deathfire and uh, I believe I'm running the. Oh, if you uh, you want to go into the the middle tree, whatever the one with uh, Thunderlords, but it's, you actually go down to um. What's it called? Uh, edge or whatever. The one that when you kill another champion, you get 5% of your missing health. Since half the things in this game type are coded as champions, you actually heal a lot more than you think. So this one, this is the one with the double veil causes. Uh, you want to, I believe we failed this once, I think, but you can still get an S on it. So you don't have to not die. That's not one of the conditions. Since I already died. But uh, yeah, so I mean, Super simple because it's an early wave. It's pretty dumbed down. Basically, just don't get hit by anything and make sure you're not dodging from both sides. Pretty easy. We're trying to save the relic. 
Again, this is a solo queue game, so I'm not in voice with any of these dudes. They might be in voice, but pretty much it's just me playing by myself. A lot of people are thinking this invasion mode is super hard. It was when I first started playing, but it has, after a little bit, it's pretty easy. I think it's just like the people don't know the patterns. This is the, the one that gives everybody the most trouble, though, I will say. I think I die. Pretty sure I die. No, no, I don't. See, I always want to split into groups of two. You never want to hug one side because then the Velkaz will pick the side that everybody's on and just drag the laser across your faces and you'll die. So, same thing. Again, you can always flash to end the end the round early. Super important later on. So, this is where my build varies. Uh, I actually build Gunblade on Ari. It's actually pretty... Uh, in my experience, it's been pretty good. You don't have to follow this exact path. I think I, think I might have fucked it up a little bit. It's, but basically just always build towards the next item. Don't, and sit on boots. I think that's for every champion. Um, even Soraka's one, I get the boots late. You don't need to get boots early because you d don't really need to kite. You can't kite some of them. So it's like the raw stats are better than the movement speed. So always prioritize the causes if you can. You always want to kill them. We're splitting up on this one just because, uh, you know, it's early. Early the early rounds don't don't hurt. MF ulti's the mid because on this round one, the round one with no fog, you'll see you'll you'll have to spread. It's uh, multiple minions spawning on the outside and then they spawn in the center. Uh, yep, the Skarner mod is pretty useless. Usually don't focus it. Doesn't really do a whole lot. It basically runs around the edge of the map and then pulls you randomly. So it's kind of not that big of a deal. The bell causes are always top priority to kill. Got it. So now I believe I complete the second part of Gunblade. This is the awkward buy because you don't you don't actually buy an AP this round. Oh, just kidding. You do buy Gunblade. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so Gunblade into um, Namakon. It, getting it early feels pretty good because you don't really... The waves are super easy, so you can actually sit on like a weak item, like getting the AP version, or getting the AD. But after this, it's pretty good. I feel like it's really strong. So use it you know, right away. I mean, you can save it if you want, but I just use it on cooldown because the, the fights are so long. You don't actually save it for the clutch uh, peel for your teammate or whatever you might think, but not that big of a deal. Yeah, you heal for a pretty good amount. Like, uh, Soraka heals me a couple times, but the Gunblade does pretty good later. So another one with Fog. This is the one with the, the Kha'Zixes that run in and, in and out. You kind of want to save your uh, cooldowns for, uh, for when they're approaching the first time, not after they do their little jump. Uh, this one has the big rec size, so... You watch out for the pathing, path it actually hurts. This one has the invulnerability, right? So you want to pick off the invulnerability right at the beginning, if you can. Right here, I pick it off. That way, when he comes in, he's not invulnerable. MF ult is for the Velka, or for the, because it, uh, Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai mob, because it's uh, quite annoying. It actually does a lot of damage. You want to focus it first. The Kha'Zixes don't actually do that much damage. They're kind of like a grindy mob. So there we go, next phase. So I believe on this one, I still sit on the regular boots. I think I, so I'm, the next item I'm building is Death Cap. So this one's the, this is the Spirit Break around. This is the one where you get the, the fucking pathway on like the fifth, fifth wave or whatever. This one has a shit ton of Velkazes that spawn on the bottom. You have to kill all of them. If not, you're gonna dodge from both sides and you'll die. So this one has the uh, Skarner mob. I think it varies. Sometimes it's the the Rek'Sai, but the Vel'Kazes come out right after this, I believe. No? Oh, it's the Kog'Ma one. Never mind. Kog'Ma one. Kog'Ma variant. So this one, if you're Ari, save your charm for... Uh, don't just use your charm to charm the Rek'Sai's. You want to save it for the Kog'Mas. The, getting hit by CC resets their Enrage. So it's good if somebody triggers it and you guys don't have enough damage. You're able to charm the 
the Kog'Ma and reset the Enrage timer and give your team more time to DPS it down before it freaks out. Resume with the Giant Cho'Gath. I believe this time they don't knock it out. If you watch the last Soraka video, the Poppy knocks it out instantly. This one, I think we're pretty good, so we don't have to blow it out. Ideally, you would wait till it's pretty low or it's charging after the guy that he wants to eat, and right before he reaches him, you'd knock it out with Poppy ulti. So I think it's stunned. Yeah, okay. So again, Jinx dies, but we're pretty much past the hard part, basically looking to get on top of the um, trigger at the end of the round. That's what Poppy's doing right there. See, as soon as she can see it, she flashes onto it, ends the round, keeps us all safe. So now I believe I buy the boot. No. No, I continue building towards Death Cap. I think I buy boots after Death Cap. So this is pretty hard. This is the worst. If you get the bridge late, you're going to have a bad time. It is very hard to do. Like, insanely hard. The trick for the bridge is, um, so a group of mobs spawn on the top side, like a bunch of little ones. You immediately, um, you want to burn those down, and then you get a couple Kha'Zix mobs from the bottom. It's basically hectic. The one point you have to look for is on this top left near this lamp post. A Velka's mob spawns that shoots the laser beam, not the not the shitty like little bullets. It shoots like a straight laser. You have to kill that one really fast, or you have to just not be because it's gonna cut across these petals where the uh, fucking sakura petals are, or whatever. The the laser hits at about that angle, so you want to make sure you and your team are on the upper side, or make sure that you're aware that when that that mob shows up, you nobody can be here because it'll shred and probably kill one or two people if you're not paying attention. So here's the Cho'Gath. This part gets pretty hectic because just a shit ton of things come in and it's just a pain in the ass. I would blow, uh, if, I don't know if I'd blow MF ulti for this, but I would definitely, definitely use an ulti or two. So it gets pretty hectic. You kind of kite them to one side of the bridge and then you switch to the other side. There's the Vel'Koz mob that like roasts your team. I believe we fail this one once because the Soraka died. Yeah. Yeah, we failed this one. But I think we still guys think I still got a nest, so it's not that bad. So we wipe. Nobody was prepared for the the Falcos mob. So well, that's fine. That's kinda how it works. Soraka trolling me because I didn't pick her up. Remember this is solo queue, so you know, if you're in voice, I'm sure this is a little easier to organize. Uh but playing with a bunch of bunch of dudes is uh Randoms is not like uh, the best organization possible. So you want to use your Q as much as possible. You want that. You want your heal stacked up and shit. So. I think this one gets kind of close, but I think we end up doing pretty well. Knight's Vow is pretty, pretty clutch. I believe that Poppy has the Knight's Vow on top of the Soraka for some reason, which isn't ideal. But the game where I had really easy time and our MF ulti gets cancelled, which is pretty, pretty bad. But uh, you want to get the Knight's Vow on Soraka, and then the Poppy can get Knight's Vow on like, one of the DPS, and it'll be it'll be pretty good. This one, I think we're like doing pretty good. There's the Vel'Koz ulti, fucking roast to, like two of our people, but we're like okay. I think at this point, because you want to prioritize killing as fast as possible, or at least charming it, or CCing it so it stops... Uh, blowing up your team here comes the big rex high mob so it, it always goes into the fog and then cuts and comes in at an angle so you always want to when you see it spawn call it out to your team and then try and see where it's going to jump from and if it has an invulnerability dude attached to it you want to kill it as fast as possible i think we barely clutched this one out see there's another velcos that spawns in the corner i wanted to kill it but i did not have the cool uh, i died i guess i didn't have the cooldowns for it so i think poppy picks me up and then we were able to kill it. That's the last one. And the random Kha'Zix mob. So. This is kind of hard. I don't actually know. I guess you're supposed to have like a re like the mage kill it or something. Because it's kind of way out there. Okay. And then death cap into CDR boots. This is probably the most efficient thing I've seen. I always end up with zero gold. And I have like full items, full CDR. I'm also running 10% um, uh, scaling and 5 flat CDR inside of my runes. I usually use it for when I'm playing anyway. So it worked out. I'm at exactly 40. So 
which is really important because it'll keep your DPS consistent. If you don't have 40, it feels like feels really slow, I guess. There's no way to cheese the boss. I think I mentioned this before. I tried to join Jinx traps to like add extra damage, but again, it's not a DPS race. It's basically kill everything and then DPS the boss. Because the boss is pretty, pretty chill. So I think well, if you watch my health, you can kind of see how good Gunblade is. I don't know if I take a whole lot of damage. I think I like get, I don't think I get down. I'm not too sure. But it's pretty much how it goes. Pretty easy. Just want to make sure you guys kill all the all the mobs best you can. So right now we're kind of split up, but uh, we're, nobody's deep, nobody's really DPSing the boss, so we're not getting a whole lot of ads. We're just trying to kill everything. These guys kind of knew about it. Last team had no fucking idea that you're not supposed to DPS the boss until everything's dead. So this one I'm trying to tell my team to kill, but somebody taps it too much. I guess if you look at the the health percents in the video, you'll be able to see when it uh when it uh the next wave spawns. Looks like it's like a hundred percent, twenty five percent, maybe one per or something like that. I believe he always spawns the tiny ones. The tiny ones are part of it, so that uh, you might not be able to avoid those spawns. But they're basically nothing. They, it's just the big mobs that actually cause problems. All the little ones do is like add to your life steal. So yeah, if you get hit with two, I think if you stand in the center, so when he shoots the orbs, it's always better to get hit by one, so you might as well stand in the center of the orb than to like try and run across, because if you there's a, if you get hit by two, that's what de deals like a shit ton of damage. Now this one is the, so you always want to kill the big Velkaz mobs, because there, see I get hit by two right there. But uh, yeah, the big Velkaz mobs are always the biggest problem, you always want to kill those, that laser shreds. And if you can't peel for your, if you're playing DPS, the little mobs kind of piss off your healer. So if you can kill them, that'd be great. And knocked up because they suck. Kill the little vel causes because they're closer. Watch out for the knock up. Should be okay though. See the things chasing the Soraka, but she doesn't see. She doesn't have Knight's Vow, so she's not healing. This is what no Knight's Vow feels like. Feels bad. So if you saw the other video. Build Knights Found Soraka makes life a hundred times easier. At this point, you can once it's at this low, you can just DPS the boss. You can ignore the ads, uh, or you can try to. Depends, I guess. This one worked out pretty well. He spawned the Kha'Zix, but we kill him. And that was way easier than the other video. So playing his DPS. This is an ideal comp. You should run this one. It seems to work pretty well. Um, maybe adjust your runes and masteries. Uh, I'm like I said, if you go back, I'm running 10%. Scaling or five percent scaling, five percent flat. Yeah, pretty easy. And it got an A. So you, if you look at the score, I believe I had like uh, I don't know, like three, three deaths or something like that. So dying a whole bunch. I had I finished twenty-seven four seventy-seven. So less than four. Looks like you get an A. Pretty easy. All right. So yeah, good luck. Get that ward skin.